Conservation groups are getting waist deep in the waters of the St. Lawrence River, trying to clean up an important musky breeding ground. 7 News reporter Zach Grady was on Blind Bay today to witness those efforts. I mean, people have been fishing for, eating, and uh, loving the muskie forever. A love that had both Save the River and the Thousand Islands Land Trust wading through muddy waters Monday morning. The two organizations came together to try and clean up Blind Bay, a key spawning ground for the muskie and more than 50 other native North Country species. It's important to get in here and clean this material up. We're very excited to be able to do this. We haven't been, in, been able to get into this particular bay, so this is the first time for us and working with our partner Tilt. I think we're going to get a lot of material out of here today. It feels really good not only teaming up together and using their really tried and true method, but seeing what really is here and knowing that we're getting it out of the water. Thousand Islands Land Trust Executive Director Jake Tibbles says the partnership benefits both the staff and the St. Lawrence River. Getting out, we're getting our hands dirty, you know, for the benefit of, of the river and the Thousand Islands and, and just the, the greater environment here. Um, along the, the St. Lawrence. The two organizations spent the morning removing bottles, cans, dock foam, and other construction debris from both the shoreline and in the bay itself. The birds, the fish, again, the reptiles, the insects that are in here, uh, they can come in here and they're safe. Uh, they breed in here. They migrate in and out. Along with being an important part of the ecosystem in the St. Lawrence, the day of cleanup can be just as important for those getting their hands dirty. Growing up, my parents made it very clear to me that we needed to respect nature, and if we didn't take care of it, it would not be there for us. Zach Grady, 7 News.